Hello everyone, SP Architects here today. We are going to learn how to create railings, stairs, and we are going to learn solid element tools. Mostly railings and stairs are connected to each other, so we are going to start with the stair tool. From the design menu, you can see the stair, and if you click that, you can see its options. Before placing this, we will change its width from here. We can change its elevation from the home offset, home story offset, and we can determine the top position. Now it's linked to first story. But I want this to start from zero. Therefore, I will make this zero. And after that, you can see this input method. You can start from the forward or backward. That means down. And by activating this place left railing and right railing, after finishing your stair, the railings will be placed automatically on your stair. And also stair settings are very important. Let's go to its settings from here. And most important part is here because you can see two riser plus one going is going to limit your going value and riser height value now you can see that we have minimum and maximum values and we can see that our number of risers 20 and if you click this menu you will see its options it's limited by this value this two riser plus one going if we make this zero and set our stair to 3 meters and 50 centimeters and if you want to make this riser you will click this for instance 19 or 18 you will see that these numbers will change and now it's 23 now 20 As for the standard values, I prefer using the 17 and our number of risers will be automatically set that value, which is 21. Let's click OK and create our first tier. Maybe we are going to start here or for that I will just uncheck this place left railing. And there you go. Our first tier. Now, if we go to 3D window, we will see this our railing and our stair. Since we have changed the level of the first slab, you can see that from here is from the home story one meter. If we make this zero, and you can see it starts from the correct position. Now we have learned how to create a straight stair, but you can make this curved or other forms. If you alt click your stair or click from this stair icon first, if you click somewhere before completing your whole stair, you can choose one of them. For instance, I will go this two meters. I will hit enter and I will create a slab or landing. After that, I will make this two meters. Once again, and I want to turn right, maybe up to 5 meters, enter, 2 meters to down, and after that, I can finish my, my stair, just like this, 
for after creating you can continue editing this stair by clicking this corner and after that you can click this field chamfer or you can change its value but if you click that edge you will see that select segment type you can change that segment light landing or winder and it will suggest you a shape of stair you can choose that you can choose that from there for instance i will click the edge click here and click binder with equal points once again or winder with equal angles now i can select this type this point is unnecessary i'm going to get rid of that i will click this point and after that i will move that to corner anyway let's try again let's go straight turn right turn down after that from this menu i can click this pins or after placing this i can click this point and i can use this move and move it to there but we have no space therefore we are going to rearrange steps like this now we will have one step more to right one step less to left And also, you will see that your railings will be set up automatically. After placing this, of course, you can get rid of your railing or place it manually. To do it, you will click this railing and you will hit your space. And you will see that the railing path will be highlighted. On your selected edge outside edge and inside edge after placing these railings you can change their reference line center inside or outside while speaking of railings if you click them you will see its reference line it can be edited like simple walls for instance, I will hit this point and I will finish that from here and also finish that from here. If we go to its settings, it's very simple to use. You can add top railings, and rails, rails, inner post and other settings. For instance, if you hit this panel, you can add this panel. I will click this register from this from this view. It will automatically select register from the list and I will click this minus. After that I will click panel, hit plus and you will see that it will automatically be creating. Now I can change its settings from here. I can add details. I can get rid of hand railings like this or if you are not satisfied you can always go to paper settings from the menu and you can select one of these predetermined settings for your railings just like this for instance I want to close environment of this stair to do it I will use well, I'm gonna click here and change its rotation icon. And by the way, you can make this in floor plan. And we will finish covering our stairs, but we have a problem. We need to get rid of the upper parts 
from the steer. Solid element operations are used to design for these situations. For instance, I'm going to click this ball and we will right click. After that, we will click this net and click solid element operations. You can select it also from the list. From the design, you will see the same tool, solid element operations. And it wants you to select the target. Well, we have already selected that target. We will click this add, add as target. After that, we will click this stair and click as operator. Our first step will be selecting this choosing operation. We will click this menu and we will select this subtract with upward extrusion. With this command, this part will be removed from the whole wall. Now we will hit execute. And you will see that it will be automatically trimmed by the stair. Very useful for this kind of job. We will select these walls. Going to be a target. We will select the stair as operator and execute that's it after that if you want to paint of course you, you can paint this i'm going to select balls and gonna activate the override surfaces maybe we can use the core white row after that we can paint the layer by selecting the structure, light, and we will overwrite side parts with the same material. Plus, stucco, white row, and also for the landing, do we have a landing? No, we don't have, so we don't need to change this. And there we go. Very nice and smooth. With the solid element operations, you can abstract your elements up, extrusion, downward, the section addition, and subtraction. And this was all it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Until the next tutorial, next part of the lesson. Have a nice day. Bye.